We're gonna piss off some melanated individuals during Black History Month of all months. Whitewashed bust of Queen Nefertiti has people scratching their head. Um, so let me just do a quick digital color analysis of exactly what skin tone each bust is. What it really tells us is that the recreation is somewhere in between those two shades with a little bit of pink added to the mix. The simple fact of the matter and the problem with imposing your own personal social political agenda onto that of a woman who lived 3,000 years ago, archaeologists have either not found or have not yet identified her remains. Common misconception in the public sphere is that African people are meant to have a unilaterally ebony skin pigment greatly varied in terms of skin tones and appearance, of course, especially in ancient times, would not be this dark. They were not black. definitely knew that this one was coming. By the way, you can play this week's episode of Weibo Engages with Internet Idiots Drinking Game located in the description section of this video. Enjoy and drink responsibly. Now, I did this when Twitter went nuts on me and I have no reason not to do it now that YouTube's going ape shit as well. So, in light of recent events, I've prepared a speech for the occasion. Now, I would like to thank the Academy of Internet Historians and Archaeologists for this award and being presented in the form of a self-congratulatory pat on the backs. Their contribution to this video, such as the comments allowing me to see the light, has, has helped me experience a whole new side of YouTube that I wouldn't have experienced otherwise. And again, I would like to thank those very same people for motivating me. To be even more snarky and condescending in my response video to them, um, and all of this free content that you have so graciously provided me with, I didn't even have to lift a single finger to go look at the batch insane and motion and unstable this time. It found me. So thank you. All of the featured people within this video, thank you. Thank you so much for your help. Without you, this would not have been possible. Too snarky? Nah. Um, but before we do continue on with the shenanigans, a bit of a disclaimer that you should be aware of, and I've been kicking myself for not mentioning it in my original video. Better late than never, I suppose. The bust that everyone has had an uproar over, at least the digital facial reconstruction, was digitally crafted based on the desiccated features of a mummy referred to as the younger lady, a body which has yet to be positively identified by experts. There have been disputes about her identity, and nothing is set in stone. That mummy aside, the rest of the depiction of Nefertiti, such as her makeup, her jewelry, her pigmentation, and various other stuff was obviously based on the original bust, given the actual depictions we have of Nefertiti that are in full partial color. I mean, a, a corpse can give you facial structure, but let's be honest, it cannot tell you the exact natural skin color of a person during their life, unless of course they're a freshly dead corpse. I mean, you, you can make educated guesstimations, but phenotypic representation is not exclusive to genotypic constitution, no matter how much you slice and dice it. I'm sorry, but just because Wentworth Miller is genetically half black does not mean that he's going to come out of the baby oven looking like a pretzel bun. Sorry. Sucks, but that's the reality of it, and you can either accept it or live in perpetual delusion. Anyway, without further ado, let's get on with the shit show. DISAPPOINTED! For the record, your racist behind is an upsetting, much non-melanin deficient persons. They just think you're ignorant about the African continent and DNA. Tell that to all the people featured in this video, why don't you? Had your kids, had your wife, and had your husband because they raping everybody out here. Now, I've never been one for beating around the bush, so let's get right into the crazy genocidal maniacs, shall we? It seems this gentleman isn't a fan of beating around the bush either. Where's the white? Holocaust. I love willfully ignorant whites. Your history is nothing more than genocide. Lies, plunder, rape, and violence. Girl, bye. The note you ended on. Well, it's not goodbye, is it? Because the very next video I put out, you hit me up in the comments section with this brilliant hot take. White men murder across the universe. The universe, you say? That's actually rather impressive by current day rocket science limitations, sir. Facts! We need a white holocaust because you whites are willfully ignorant. You white apes are quick to call blacks thugs and Muslim terrorists, yet are mad when we speak facts on your race. 
White men rape, kill, steal, murder more than any other race, yet aren't in jail. Hmm. White willful ignorance. It would seem I have a new secret admirer. I wonder how our relationship could possibly blossom from here, but such is the nature of these things that they are full of surprises. Anyway, let's move on from Adolf Hitler light. We've got plenty more shenanigans to cover today, and I've only just begun. She wants the dick! So, we're continuing on with this theme of star-crossed, unorthodox, blossoming romances, and it seems that some people have caught wind of my lengthy Lebo schlong. 43 feet at present, soon to grow if you were wondering at the time of making this video. Bust. Bust. Can I bust it on you? She'd love it. Now this is a black man who doesn't want your white nectar telling you off. Quite Beau, you sound jealous. I think you wish you had a little more black in you. It is rather regrettable for you gentlemen that this trap is an exclusively one dick show. Otherwise I would have gladly introduced you to Mr. Happy Pants that, no, Oh, that sounds fucking gay. The Yan Bass Adore, Vlad the Impaler, King Dong, all, all interesting names. I can't decide which one I like more. Viewers, I'll let you take the reins on this. Let's take a vote on those names in the comments section down below for the Weibo Shlong, 43 feet as of current day measurements. Comment your choice in the comments section down below. Anyway, where was I? Um, oh yeah, I was informing these gentlemen that I have standards and none of them qualify by any measure. That sucks for them. Moving on. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. There was one person in particular that I, I'd like to take my hat off to, who held a genuine concern for my well-being in all of the hustle and bustle of my comments section that it were for like a week or so. Let's hear it for Germaine de Costa. I saw your support, I hearted it, and I pinned it to the top of my video. Can you die tonight, please and thank you. You're polite, if nothing else. Your mother at least taught you manners. Unfortunately, she neglected to teach you decency. Sir? Sir? Are, 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 are you listening to me, sir? Sir, I'm talking to you! Then there's the one person who can't, who doesn't quite understand YouTube and its shortcomings, and for some reason kept coming back to my comments section for some fucking reason. I don't understand it. Nice job deleting my post instead of refuting it. As I said, you can't use current geological make Oa of Africa or anywhere to compare how it was thousands of years ago. All of Africa was native-born Africans in one land before the Europeans came and split it up and colonized it. So, uh, you think I deleted your post? Mm -hmm. Look at that, and there it is. You see, I would never delete a post, but they do get stuck in spam, and YouTube doesn't always show all of the comments to the normie population, i.e. you. But I didn't delete it. It's right there. I checked. A proboscis, a schnozola, a smeller, a beza. Now, I noticed a distinct trend in a great deal of the comments that I received for this video. And let's see if you can notice it as well. Since the beginnings, you have been telling those lies. Back then, you cut off the noses of the statues and even the heads. When something resonates with a person, they inherently know what is true and what is false. But as we were always told, a picture is worth 1,000 words. The picture on, or the hieroglyphics of people, are of people of color with light to dark brown complexion. So you don't have to prove anything to us, we already know, and we know your nature. You are the devil, a liar, and a deceiver by your nature. If you dress a Caucasian and Egyptian A tire and a Nubian person in Egyptian A tire, who do you think fits it more? Seriously though, I wonder who wore it better. You have to ask yourself a serious question. You are melanin recessive. By nature, you cannot take to sun, because if you stay too long in the sun rays, you will burn. Everyone knows it, so I'm not racist, but this is ridiculous. Just because somebody said that Nefertiti looked like a Caucasian woman and DNA test, and they could be completely lying, just like they did back in the day. Try to cover it up also. His credibility is nothing to me. Take care of yourself. What the fuck did I just read? My head hurts. Um, anyway, continuing on. Tell me why they removed the noses of all Egyptian sculptures. I'll tell you. It proved the color of the people, so they removed them. Bats. You are the problem denying the truth when it is painted on Egyptian walls of black people. Let me ask you a ligament question. Ligament question. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I 
This is gonna be a fucking long ass video. I'm only five fucking pages into the script. Jesus Christ. If this were so, and we don't know the color, why did explorers shoot the noses off the pyramid statues? Duh, to hide the identity. Facts. By the, by the way, a little tip for internet crusaders out there on a mission for chem that or whatever other goals you have in mind. If you're the type to punctuate a statement with the word facts, no one will ever take you seriously. I'm all about those helpful tips, yo. <laughs> Interesting. Dot, 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 dot. Let's ask this question, dot, dot, dot. Most historians base the findings in validity based on the scriptures and history of the Bible. I don't think that's correct. <laughs> but carry on. In the Bible, the ancient Egyptians were actually black or having dark skin. They were Hamites. Ham, who was one of Noah's three sons, he was the propagator of the dark races. Oh, so Egyptians come from Jews? Interesting. I didn't know that. One of Noah's three sons, he was the proj. <laughs> one of Noah's three sons, he was the progenitor of the dark races, Egyptian, Ethiopians. Gibians, etc. So we can make an assumption based on biblical and geographical locations that they were black. Many historians and archaeologists would never admit this. If they did, they would have to admit that black or Africans had one of the greatest civilizations of all time. What happened to it? And two, they would have to go against their white supremacy agenda, which is why they also whitewatch Jesus Christ. Ask yourself this question, why are the noses missing from most of the Egyptian structures? Is it just a coincidence, or is there something more? <laughs> now, did you catch the trend? If not, that's okay. It was a great deal of words. I'd get bored too, except that I didn't. It was fucking more hilarious the more I read. The main point is that they represent a similar position, which is this. That in the eyes of these people, supposedly, no shape is the single most reliable determinant of a person's race. Which is ridiculous in itself, but to claim that a missing nose is proof of some global white conspiracy is ridiculous. Which is exactly what this is, let's not kid ourselves. When tasked with reconciling all of the other ancient statues, busts, and structures with their noses intact, as was actually exhibited within the video, the initial video that I put out, if you had been paying attention at all, it's fucking ridiculous. So let me go ahead and eviscerate this mouth diarrhea for you sentence by sentence. Then, because it was brought up at least fucking twice, I must address this strange comparison of me to Tommy Lauren. Lauren? Her name was spelled two different ways, but I got the message. We have a wannabe Tommy Lauren, and of course, y'all will eat this up. She's not serious. Tommy Lauren wannabe. And you are right, this is comedy. Now, I'm not blonde enough to merit such a comparison. Plus, I feel like I'm a tad bit less intense than she is. I don't take myself as seriously as she does. And you shouldn't either in some of these videos of mine, honestly. Otherwise, you're, you're, you're not having a fun time, let's be honest. For instance, this exact video. Perfect example. Completely devoid of, well, most serious argumentation. It's an exhibition of online hate mob stupidity in the form of a giant shit post, And I do it because it's easy and because I enjoyed it. Gives me an excuse to be even more of a bitch than I already am. I need that bacon. I'm on this liquor, so here. We absolutely absolutely cannot have an abundance of black people mad at me without an obligatory Becky name. You know, I might, I might, I think I might just have to legally change my name to Becky at this point. It's become a staple of my internet persona at this moment in time, and it's like the plague or AIDS. Can't escape it. Hashtag say Becky. Time to go to school, Becky. Don't worry, I did the research for you. Now I told you I was going to disprove every lie. Becky strikes again. Pennywise writes, we was more frickin' mayo complexion cave beasts and shit. Get damn crackers. Take a stroll in the sun and watch your skin burn, Becky. And no, you can't ex me for no get damn sun lotion. That was... That was a nightmare to read. This girl is ignorant. Typical Becky. You know, it's like a common trend amongst my commenters in this video that they have keyboard Tourette's. I can't tell if it's fucking great. It's fucking pain in my ass. North Africans are Greeks, Romans, Italians, French, German, Arabs, and other conquerors of recent history, as they will tell themselves. The Saharan 
desert was not always a desert. It used to be green. Zulus and other tribes used to live up north until the water dried up. Different times and dynasties are the issue. Donut whitewash history and expect no reply. Do some research, redneck teacher Becky. And because I know it has to happen, Susan, sit down. Hashtag also Susan. Simply can't forget Susan. Nor me here, nor me there, nor me here. Have you ever seen black people going around blackening white people in history? Someone's obviously never seen Hidden Colors 1, the untold history of people of aboriginal, more and African descent. Hidden Colors 2, the triumph of melanin. Hidden Colors 3, the rules of racism. Hidden Colors 4, the religion of white supremacy. I mean, neither have I. That is in their entirety, but I have a general understanding of the concepts surrounding each documentary. <laughs> into the Irish Egyptian versus Egyptian Irish question. You might have heard of it, you might not have, I don't know, but it's up there with uh, Lac St. Nicholas and uh, urban myths version of Michael Jackson in terms of relevant current world issues. There is Irish DNA in the pharaohs, so some lighter skin wouldn't be weird, XP. You got that backwards, there is Egyptian DNA in the Irish, the black Irish. So the red hair found on Tutankhamun's was from his family to the Irish and not the other way around, you say? It's a little white lie, like white Jesus and Santa Claus came. If you believe this guy actually had hair, you're too crazy for it to talk to. The entire exchange is absolute gold. About as gold as Tutankhamun's mask, which was graciously provided as evidence against Irish pharaohs by our lovely commentator. Got two pics to your cart. Autistic. Show. Sure. Not but I. And we have the most special of my commentators. He went all the way. Full on Looney Tunes. Brief reminder, guys, in case it were unclear already. You went full retard, man. Never go full retard. That was a public service announcement. Explain this white supremacist terrorist bitch, period. Millions of years, only black brown people lived on Earth. White supremacist terrorist wasn't living anywhere on Earth until they was created by Yakub, the creator, graft with African DNA, graft with ape DNA. Explain yourself now. Okay, oh boy. Very demanding, aren't we? I'm, I'm sorry, I don't really associate much validity with creation myths as a general rule. However, either way you look at it, in this particular version of history you've alerted me to, white people in their entirety were a direct result of black people directly meddling in genetic science. Slaves to the nature of that meddling by the mythology's own admission. So I, I mean, by your own declaration of what is historical fact, black people specifically with regards to Yakub were directly responsible for everything that would have followed. But Chucky's not done yet doing a remarkable display of an absolute numbskull on cocaine. No, he is not. Let's take a look. He white bitch would burn in the Egyptian sun. Get the fuck out of here. White people are not living in the time. Dot you, white supremacist terrorist, only been on Earth for a little over 6,000 years. Again, you've made a crucial error to the great detriment of your own argument. You see, in the very video you're criticizing, I in fact gave a rough time estimate of people, specifically with regards to Nefertiti, that existed 3,000 years ago, give or take. My name is Nefertiti, and she reigned over Egypt some 3,000 years ago-ish, give or take a few hundred. So obviously, this is the most pressing issue of our time that we should definitely be wasting time discussing. However, you make two claims. White people was not living in that time, and white supremacist terrorists only been on Earth for a little over 6,000 years. Mm, now, I may not be anything special within the math department here, but 3,000 years ago is at least 3,000 years less than 6,000 years ago, I would think. Feel free to correct my math in the comments section if I'm incorrect, but I don't think so. Anyway, believe it or not, we're still not done with Chucky here. This video is fraudulent. Listen to how dumb and uneducated this white supremacist terrorist bitch sounds. Dot, she has no knowledge or proof. Dot, white people always stealing land resources, culture, religion, history, and then the attempt to lies about that shit. It is rather interesting that I sound uneducated, but this gentleman has yet to grasp the basic grammatical concepts of the very language that he is criticizing me in. Also, it's K-N-O-W, not N-O. Lastly, Chucky Buddy, my proof is located in the description of the video. I provided links to all of my sources in case you were interested and cared to look at all. 
Oh, that spicy meat. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah, boy. Then we have people who lack a fundamental understanding of just exactly what happens when one's dermis is exposed to the harsh ultraviolet rays of the sun, and how varied that reaction can be amongst any demographic. Come on guys, Egypt is in Africa. That sun would have cooked her butt. You boil in the sun. How the hell did any of you ever live in Egypt? Common sense, it's just blind racism. A little side thing that I've noticed, I find it rather interesting that I've never actually said my ancestors were Egyptian, yet that's immediately what people assume I'm implying. I've never said my people. I said that Egyptians had a great deal in common with the rest of their neighbors who inhabited the Mediterranean area. My family, however, came from northeastern Europe, and the last time I checked, those two locations, the Mediterranean region and, and fucking northeastern Europe? Well, according to this Google search, they're about a distance of 1900... 32 kilometers from each other. That's 1,200 miles, roughly. I also find it rather intriguing that those commenters have deluded themselves into thinking that the world, more specifically Africa and Europe, and their respective demographics are so completely polarized to a strict black and white dichotomy. I'm sorry, but it's quite a bit more nuanced than that, unfortunately, for your worldview. Now, we are talking about two separate continents with a multitude of different countries, each with their own various cultures. But yeah, sure. Africa, which spans a massive 11.73 million square miles with 13 different climate regions in Europe, which spans 3.931 million square miles with 15 different climate regions. Yeah, they're both uh, obviously composed of people which are respectively the exact opposite of each other, but within their own continents are made up of the exact same skin tone, culture, history, and understanding of the world. And they call me willfully ignorant. Go to Egypt and stand in the sun without sunscreen. Let's see how long you last, dumbass. Hashtag culture vultures. By the way, you have more dislikes than likes. That should tell you no one cares about your bullshit racist rhetoric. Get a life and stop stealing African history. Yeah! Now, believe it or not, and I know this will be hard for you to wrap your head around, but according to dermatologists, there are actually six variants of skin types, and across all of them, there is a risk of getting a sunburn by the ultraviolet rays of the sun. Granted, the risk is either greater or lesser for some people of different skin types, but... <sighs> to give you an idea of how little national origin, genetics, and natural skin color matter in that process, I'm a Polish woman. Skin type 3, medium white. Um, that means that I burn minimally and tan rather easily. This is a picture of my father, who's even more ethnically Polish than I am. Type 4 skin. Light brown to olive skin tone. Burns minimally, tans easily. Now knowing what we know about the wonderful tendencies of the human body, and dermis to defend against certain harshnesses of our world, namely tanning and the sun respectively, since Egyptian art has been brought up, allow me to point something out. Egyptian art had an element of realism to it, thus we get wall paintings of everyday life depicting many, many different figures, both significant to the historical record and not. Now what you'll notice overwhelmingly within these depictions, with attention to the 18th dynasty, since that's the time period that I was talking about, you'll get images such as these, depicting men with rust-tanned skin and women with yellowy tinged lighter skin, usually because the men spent their days outside in the hot sun working away, while mm. the women didn't spend their days outside in the sun working away. It's as simple as that. Tanning. Now, before you go fucking apeshit again, that's not to say that there wasn't a great deal of variation in Egyptian skin tones. Of course there's diversity. As I said, Egypt is not a monolith of skin tone in my initial video, although I should probably have said monochromatic. Whatever. For every image you can bring up of an ancient Egyptian with dark brown skin, I can hit you back with a, an Egyptian image with lighter skin. That's just the nature of the beast, I'm afraid. You're not proving me wrong by cherry-picking images. Not even a little bit. But let's continue. How did this happen? A long time ago, actually never, and also now, nothing is nowhere. When? Never. Makes sense, right? Like I said, it didn't happen. Nothing was never anywhere. Whites have K-N-O-W no history whatsoever. You and Chucky really need to exchange uses of the word no. You big dummy, Egypt is Africa before the evasions came, which was hundreds of years after Nefertiti Kent. Egypt was pure African black. Stop claiming other people's ancestry and embrace your own. Whew, that was cancerous.
that's that's interesting because as far as I'm aware, the Hyksos established the 15th dynasty of Egypt, where our friends Nefertiti lived during the 18th dynasty. That's about 101 years after the Hyksos, a uh, people of Semitic and Asian descent that reigned in Egypt for a time. <clears throat> so someone must be full of shit, and I know it's not me. Black people are the real original humans of this planet. Humanity begins with blacks in Africa and will end with blacks in Africa. The lice-infested cave beasts invaded Africa and none of those Arabs in the Horn of Africa don't belong. They are simply invaders and settlers, not the original people of Africa. It's laughable for you people to claim to be Egyptian when you can't even stay under a 60 degree sun without getting blisters and sunburns, let alone lived under a 112 degree sun in Egypt. If we, <laughs> well, to be frank, if we take history back far enough, say 150,000 years ago, everyone's ancestors came from Africa, according to the African origin paradigm. The British are coming, the British are coming. I couldn't finish listening to your snarky imbalance petulance. Your ignorance of African history is commensurate with your obvious Eurocentric mindset. Yes, current North Africans are lighter in tone because of the proximity of North Africa to Southern Europe. Invaders from Southern Europe and Levant blended with the original population, subjugating them, eventually forcing them southward, creating what's now the Sub-Saharan African. The current populations are blends of Europe, Asia, and Arab, and they will tell you that. You conveniently failed to mention that though I doubt you actually know. I've no doubt some of the royalty had white skin, but they're not native to the land. Totally disingenuous rant. The racist propaganda is not blacks focusing on the black skin tone. It's the temerity of the sculptor to apply it. Were you not just, were you just not listening to me at all? I said that there were cross-cultural interaction amongst the various civilizations surrounding the Mediterranean. Whether it was due to intercultural trade, invasion events, migration events, or what have you other event doesn't mitigate the reality that Egypt was and is still diverse. And if you want to bring up invasion events, then I'm sorry, but Egypt is also guilty of invading other various cultures, namely Nubia around 2050 BC to 1710 BC during the Middle Kingdom, which took place before the 18th dynasty. You know Nubia today as the Sudan, which is south of Egypt, and they are distinctly darker than your average Egyptian. Anyway, their descendants too, over time, after various invasion events, had fully assimilated into Egyptian culture as well. Oh, we can't forget that Nubia also invaded Egypt during certain times in history. Citation, 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 needed. citation needed. Citation fucking needed. And finally, don't even get me started on the amount of people who sent me fucking Wikipedia links, Facebook links, Blogspot links, YouTube links, image links, and even a fucking Pinterest link. Oh yes, Pinterest. An effort to prove me wrong, God, the amount, was astonishing. There are no fucking words for how disappointed I am in humanity's cognitive evolution over time. No words. Before I drink this, let's end it on a low note. It can't possibly get any worse, can it? Who cares if she had indentured servants, all of whom were not classified as three-fifths human, living in bad conditions and not malnourished, not put to work in fields to unjustly build wealth, and do so uncompensated for centuries. She did not have chattel slaves stop trying to compare the institution of chattel slavery as the second leg that didn't start until 1444 with the Vatican and the Roman Catholic Empire, two indentured servants who royals of all ethnicities had. Royal bedchambers had guards, obviously. Black royals headed black indentured too, who was going to bring them food, clothes, water, etc. Dumbass, fuck your white supremacist rhetoric. Gah! Now, if you like what I'm doing here on my channel, please consider checking out the Patreon Maker, Teespring, and Amazon links in the description down below. If maybe you don't like my stuff as much as that, that's totally cool. You can always like, comment, share, and subscribe for more.